Time now for today's Focus Report. And many who fled the Armenian genocide sought refuge in Lebanon. The country's multi-faith society meant the Armenians were able to protect their language and traditions better than anywhere else. As a result, Lebanon is one of the most active centres of the Armenian diaspora. Anjar is an Armenian town in the Beka Valley, where the locals are descended from 5,000 people who survived the genocide back in 1915. This is where our correspondent story begins. On the road to Anjar, it's impossible to miss them. For four years, Syrian refugee camps have mushroomed here. The border is less than five kilometers away, behind these mountains. It's hard to imagine that this neat little town was also founded as a refugee camp. Among Armenians, the people of Anjar are famous worldwide. On the walls of this church, a fresco traces their epic story. In 1915, the villagers of Musa Dug, in the highlands of Antioch, resisted for more than 40 days against Ottoman troops before being evacuated by the French Navy. The grandfather of this man took part in the fighting under the command of Moses de Kalustian, military leader of the Musadagians and founder of Anjar. We as Musadagian people, we are proud. Why? Because we didn't uh, go to the desert to die. We prefer to fight and to survive. I feel proud because we were able to save our people from the genocide. After the First World War, the people of Musa Dag were able to return home as their region, the Sanjak of Alexandretta, was then passed to French control. But in 1939, France ceded it to Turkey to ensure their neutrality in the imminent global conflict. Over 5,000 people from Musa Dag were then resettled in Anjar. Legend has it that the first tent served as their church and the second as their school. 75 years later, in schools in Anjar, most of the subjects are still taught in Armenian. As humans, we demand the recognition of the genocide. This is particularly noticeable in the history classes. The teaching of Armenian history is like a rite of passage. When I work with my students, I feel I convey to them more than knowledge. I pass on to them the Armenian soul and love for their nation. This is what allows us to move forward. We have to study the fight that our ancestors began, what they wanted, their heroism, their struggle to protect their rights. We have to learn to follow their path in the future. Burj Hamoud in East Beirut is Lebanon's largest Armenian community. Established a hundred years ago, Armenians here have built a solid reputation in crafts, especially in jewelry. But the community has also been able to integrate politically. This parliamentarian holds one of the six seats reserved for Armenians in the Lebanese parliament. The Armenians, uh, really, due to the confessional system, as one of the seven main basic communities here in Lebanon, have a great role uh, to play uh, in politics, in economics, and in the uh, cultural uh, system of Lebanon. Lebanon is considered to be the second Armenia for the Armenians. There are three Armenian newspapers published in Lebanon. The country is even home to the only Armenian university outside of Armenia. North of Beirut, you also find one of two holy sees of the Armenian Orthodox Church, the Catholic Estate of Cilicia, actually a region of modern Turkey, but its seat is here and it's home to a genocide memorial. These bones belong to Armenians massacred in Syria by the Ottomans. We believe that one day Turkey will recognize and the people of Turkey will recognize that what happened in 1915 was a true genocide against a nation living in the Ottoman Empire. We have to continue this struggle. This is what the one and a half million Armenians perished tell us to do. This photography exhibition documents Armenian camps in Aleppo during the interwar period. The city was the other major center of the Armenian diaspora in the Middle East until, that is, the beginning of the Syrian civil war. It was really an extremely dynamic community, a community that had preserved its traditions, its language, a vibrant community that will probably disappear. It will not be the same. The Armenians of Lebanon are not nearly as threatened. However, 
By best estimates, their numbers have been halved since the Lebanese Civil War. Today, there are just over 100,000 still living in the country.